Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know you all have been waiting a long time for this recipe and I'm so excited to bring it to you. So I really hope you all enjoy this and leave me your comments down below if you do. So let's jump straight into the recipe, let's get started. So here in my bowl I have my flour, to that I'm going in with baking powder and I'm going to give that a mix and set it aside. In another bowl I'm going to add my softened butter to that goes in sugar and we're going to cream it until it's light and fluffy next I'm going to add in one egg and beat that in make sure that it's well incorporated now I'm going to go in with some clear vanilla essence and I'm really loving this vanilla essence that I've been using in all my recipes it's really amazing so give that a mix and I'm also going to add in some milk just a little bit you just need a little bit not much so mix that in and once it's been mixed in now we'll add in our dry ingredients so add in that flour and baking powder that we mixed in Leah if you guys wanted to add a little bit of spice to the flour of course you can I'm just trying to do a basic cookie recipe here for sugar cookies so mix it all together until it starts to come together like this and it will form into a bowl. Once it comes into a bowl like this, you're going to transfer it onto plastic wrap, which you're going to wrap and place it into your refrigerator until it's nice and firm. If your dough is not nice and firm like mine, just add some more dry flour until it gets to this firmness. So once it's been chilled, we can go ahead now and remove it from the plastic wrap and flour your surface and roll it out to about a quarter of an inch in thickness. You can go thinner or leave it thicker according to what you would like. So roll it out and then take your cookie cutter and start cutting out your shapes. Feel free to make any shapes you want, any size you want, it doesn't matter. And all of the excess dough that's the the ends we will use that back to bring it together form it back into a bowl and roll it out again try to get as much cookies out of it as you possibly can these go onto my baking tray and I'm using a silicone pad if you don't have one of these you can use parchment paper just dot the ends with some butter so it doesn't you know raise up when it's baking it goes to bake and when once it's finished baking it's nice and light brown in color so while that's cooling let's make our icing so in a bowl I'm adding in my egg white you can beat the egg white with some lime rind if you like in goes my icing or powdered sugar some vanilla essence that clear vanilla essence again and we're going to start mixing this to bring it together now it does need a little help the egg white is not going to be enough so I'm adding in about a half of a teaspoon of water until it gets to a very thick spreadable consistency we're looking for a piping consistency so not too runny you would give a runny consistency if you are trying to flood the cookies so this is what I'm going for this nice soft to medium look at it that's how you want it to look not any thinner than this guys any thinner or any thicker it's going to give you difficulties it goes into my piping bag and all you have to do is pipe the cookies once they're cooled feel free to make any patterns you want and you can also color this icing if you like so I hope you guys enjoy this quick and easy sugar cookie with the icing to go along with it. Make the recipe, comment down below, let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for always being here with me on this channel. Thank you for all of your requests and I do this because of the love that I receive from you guys. I love the feedback that I get. So thank you guys so 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 much. Look how the icing has set up. It has set up, it has hardened. You don't need any additives to the icing to make it set up. Just the basic icing that I made, it's going to be perfect. So, I hope you all enjoyed it. 
comment down below like and share this video i'll see you in my next video bye guys